right, today we are going to be doing something fun. We are going to be doing a golf ball review of the new prototypes from Titleist. So the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X. Uh, Titleist sent me these to review, and so I thought I would make a nice video. Uh, use some TrackMan data and really come up with, you know, what is the best ball for me to play, and maybe that would be the best ball for you to play. So when it comes to evaluating what ball you should play, we really have to look at a few different uh, situations. So. I'm gonna hit some chip shots with them. I'm gonna hit some distance wedges, some iron shots, and ultimately some, some drives. And from those four categories, we should be able to make a decision about what ball is best for us to play. And you really have to prioritize different things like how much spin you want around the greens versus how much spin I want on my approach shots and with my driver. So let's hop in and see, uh, see what the data suggests. All right, so our starting point for this evaluation is gonna be around the green. So I've got a 30 yard shot here. And I'm really gonna try to put in context the type of shots I like to play when I'm playing. So we're gonna hit a low shot, mid shot, kind of a spinny shot. And I'm gonna be using my 60 degree uh, SM10. And we're gonna start with the Pro V1. That's the ball I'm kind of considering switching to. And I'm just gonna start with a very, very stock shot. And we're gonna kind of look at the data, you know, how much it's spinning and really what's the difference uh, between these two. So I'm gonna try to almost fly it to the hole. Just a very, very stock kind of ball back in the stance, you know, 30 yard shot. That was a little short, might have come out a hair high, but overall that was pretty good. Okay, so that spun 5,600, just under it, and uh, launched at 34 degrees. I think that came out a little high. I'm gonna blame that on me. I don't think that was the ball. But we still wanna look at what the ball is doing even on kind of our miss hits. That was a little bit off the toe. All right, let's go again. I'm just, again, I'm trying to hit that kind of flat spinner about 30 yards. I'm gonna try to hit this one a little bit lower. Yeah, that was better. Hopefully you can see, yeah, that's probably three feet pin high, a little bit left. All right, so that spun 6687. Yeah, that first one was pretty bad. All right, so we'll use that as kind of a benchmark. So that was almost 6700. Let's go over to the Pro V1. I'm sorry, the Pro V1X. So this is the ball I typically play I would expect that this is going to spin a little bit more um, than the Pro V1, but we'll just see. That's the whole reason for the testing. Again, I'm not trying to change my intent. I'm really just trying to hit the same shot. I came out a little bit flatter and had a lot of spin. So that was 6600 on a lower shot. You would generally think if you hit it a little bit lower, it may not spin quite as much but that one actually spun quite a bit let's do that shot again i preferred that flight so just for your reference that was 30 degrees of launch the other one was uh, just a, a tad more than that i really like to hit kind of flat spinny shots let's do that again yep that was kind of the same yeah i would say that was the exact same intent exact same shot 6500 um, so the thing I noticed with that is the Pro V1X seems to spin a little bit more while keeping the flight low. I don't want to have to hit it high to spin it. Okay, speaking of high, let's kind of, let's kind of throw the ball in the air a little bit and kind of see what we get. So the other shot I would typically hit here is kind of like a floater, set the face open a little bit more. I'm not necessarily, I'm changing my swing a ton. I'd say it's more like setup based. Yeah, so that's a floater. I didn't carry that quite far enough, but that had a lot of spin. Little toey, 6200. 6200, a little short. So if it's a little short, it's not gonna spin as much. Let's do that again. Same intent. I've got a good lie. Grooves are nice and clean. Oh, that was nice. That flew pin high and stopped very, very fast. Launched 35 degrees, which is what I would be looking for. Yeah, that was 7300. So again, if I was thinking about making a change to the Pro V1X, which is a ball that spins more down to the Pro V1, then I would be making sure that the Pro V1 spins at a minimum of what I would like deem acceptable, which I'm saying that is fine. Like that ball stopping fast. This green isn't like super pitched back there. So it's clearly just spinning a lot. Okay, let's go with the Pro, v the Pro V1X. Same intent, kind of that, you know, mid floater. I didn't hit it super great, but it's probably six feet short. So that spun 7,000 on a shot that I don't think I hit that well, which is pretty interesting. 
So normally when I don't hit them well, I feel like they don't spin a ton, but that really, really spun quite a bit. 7,000, it launched at 35 degrees, same as the other one. All right, let's see if I can hit one a little bit better. And then we're gonna hit my, my other shot that I would hit from here. Okay, weak face. Oh, that was really nice, that might go in. Okay, kick left, tons of spin, 33 degree launch, 7,700. So again, the Pro-V is spinning just a little bit more. Even Again, that one was a little bit lower launch, which is nice to see when you're hitting that kind of flat spinner. That's kind of that magic shot that's so hard to hit where it comes out flat and spinny. Okay, so the last shot that I hit a lot is kind of like a trap draw, low draw, where I have a long-sided shot like this, and I really would be trying to hit like a runner back there. I'm not gonna change clubs, but I am gonna clean it. You gotta clean your grooves, people. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're good, clean enough. So I'm gonna hit a little low draw back there and just kind of see what the spin numbers are. Again, we're going with the Pro V1 here. That's nice. Hit that hill and released, which is what I want. So that launched at 24 with 5,500 spin. That would be pretty good. That's kind of what I'm looking for. That was not too far off. Let's do that again. It wasn't the best shot. It's probably like eight feet left. But again, from 30, 35 yards, that's not bad. Okay, so ball back. I don't really care if the face is shut because I'm trying to hit that low one. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I kind of hit the hill and stopped. I would assume that's a little bit more spin. Ah, 5,700, nothing crazy. But the launch was good, maybe a hair higher than I thought. I'll be curious if the Pro V1X here launches a little bit lower um, than the uh, the Pro V1, we'll see. Again, it might just be me or it might, it might be a little bit the ball. Okay, same intent. Ah, it was about the same. Uh, that one released up the hill just a little bit. Uh, 5,800. Not crazy difference in spin, but it was a little bit more spin. Again, this is a shot I'm not trying to see a lot of spin. All right, here we go. Same shot, and then we're going to move on to some, some wedge play. Oh, that is really nice. That hit the hill and kind of released back there. Ah, 6,100. So it's pretty clear that the Pro V1X is spinning a little bit more around the green than the Pro V1. Uh, the, the intriguing thing is that the Pro V1 is acting, is acting and behaving how I would want in a golf ball. Um, I feel like the Pro V1X is, is spinning quite a bit. So if you were looking for a lower spin ball around the greens, but still something that reacts the way you want, it's definitely an option. We'll see as we test the other, uh, the other aspects of the fitting if the ball kind of translates the same way. All right, so the next part of our evaluation is going to be uh, distance wedges. So I've got about a 75-yard shot, 70-yard shot here. And uh, what I'm going to be looking at really is the type of shot that I hit from here. I don't really hit a lot of different shots. I kind of hit a flat uh, stock draw where I'm just looking for it to be pretty low uh, with some spin. So this would be kind of interesting to see, you know, what the numbers are, what the launch is. Just for reference, I'm going to be trying to launch it around 30 degrees with a pretty good amount of spin. Um, we'll see what those numbers are for these different... Uh, these different golf balls so and also so we're going to start with the pro v1 and then uh I'll, I'll make sure the grooves are clean so this is pretty stock uh distance wedge shot that maybe came out a hair high and a hair short but i hit it pretty good so that flew 70 at just under 8,000 spin wasn't the best shot of my life but it wasn't too bad let's try that again i really it, so when you're getting fit go off of your misses a little bit but really go off when you hit one exactly how you want is that how you want it to come off that was 31 degree launch again i hit it a little high right so that makes sense that it you know probably you know was a little bit high Let's see if i can drive one a little bit lower well that was a little higher probably went a little bit further yeah just a touch uh, 33 degree launch, 8,000 spin. I mean, these aren't bad spin numbers. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But so far, they're launching a little higher uh, than I want. Again, that's probably me more than the ball, but let's, let's hit a couple more just to see. I feel like I'm aimed fine. I'm in the fairway, so no excuse there. There we go. That one came out exactly how I want. 
and it basically hit the hole. So let's see what that is. So that's a 28 degree launch. That's really, really low. I would strive for that. Uh, 9,200 spent. Yeah, I think that just goes to show those first couple I hit were not very good. And we can kind of throw those out. But, you know, when you're getting fit, you're not going to hit them all good. Just like when you play, you're not going to hit them all good. So let's do one more, and then we'll jump over to the, the Pro V1X. So I'd say so far, if I could hit the ball like that, I would have no problem hitting this ball. Uh, that was 76 in the air. Again, it's about a 75-yard shot. That was very, very nice. I could definitely live with that. Ah, a little thin. Yeah, not not a great shot. I'm not hitting the best wedges ever, but that just spun 10,000. A little low on the face, but it flew 70. I'd say I'm just a little bit short. So I guess if, if I was thinking, okay, well, what do I want to see different in this? It would really be if I hit one good, what the difference is. Is it more spin? You know, am, am I consistently launching it a little bit better? You know, for whatever reason, those balls came out a little bit high. Let's see how this does. So this is the Pro V1X. Same intent. Yeah, that came out pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that launched at 26 at 9,400 spin. Uh, flew 74 yards. Very, very nice. That's, that's a pretty typical shot as to what I would normally hit. So if I'm seeing that, you know, so far, I'm definitely performing a little bit better with the Pro V1. Maybe I'm just hitting better shots. But I also seem to just be hitting better shots consistently with this, with this ball. For whatever reason, it's probably just, you know, coincidence at this point. Okay, let's go low again. Like even that I missed, but it was much lower than the other one. It was a little toey. 9,500 spin, 24 degree launch. Yeah, the Pro V1X is definitely spinning a little more while launching less, which is a nice thing. Okay, let's do two more. Let's see if I can make one of these or get close. I'm, I'm definitely short today. You guys can give me some comments as to what I'm doing wrong. That was nice. A little short. There's a giant ridge right there. I'm not quite clearing. 9,300 spin, 26 degree launch. But overall, I'd say I'm definitely performing better with the Pro V1X, which is my normal ball. Not a d huge difference, but definitely a little noticeable. Oh, that's nice. That came out a little higher. Tons of spin. It's probably five feet right of the hole. 29 degree launch, 9,900 spin. Yeah, I would say for me right now, the Pro V1X is definitely better for me from the fairway on these like 70 to 80 yard shots because I like how it's launching low, but I also like how much spin I'm getting. Again, if I can launch them low with a lot of spin, that gives me a lot of freedom to not have to hit it high. So, okay, let's move on to the approach play. All right, so next up in our evaluation is going to be approach play. I've got a seven iron, about 175, 180 yard shot. And what I'm going to be looking for is going to be ball speed, trajectory and spin and I would be looking for a little bit less spin probably just because I tend to spin my irons a little bit much again like I said earlier I don't generally play on firm fast green so I don't need a ton of spin so we'll just kind of see how these numbers go and uh, I, I, I guess I would also be looking at dispersion um, in theory a ball that spins less is probably going to go a little bit straighter so let's see what we got That was a little thin, but pretty straight shot on the green, maybe 20, 25 feet left. So I'd be looking at ball speed, club head speed. So that was 85 miles an hour, 117, uh, 6,400 spin on a pretty center strike. So not, not super low spin. Uh, that one carried right at 165. So that was, that was pretty, pretty short for me. Let's see if we can ramp that up a little bit better strike. Yeah, that was better. That's pretty much at it. Maybe just a hair left. Definitely a better strike. Yeah, so that was 88, 121, 175, 6,100 spin. That's pretty close to what I would be looking for uh, in a 7-iron. In general, if you just took the club and then 
multiply it at um, times a thousand, so that'd be seven thousand, and then subtract one thousand, that'd be six thousand. That'd be pretty close. So it's a thousand under whatever the club is, basically, would be a good, you know, reference for how much spin in general that you would want. Let's go again, seven iron. Yeah, and I'm not doing anything different from swing to swing. That is right at it. I'd say that was pretty identical to the previous one. Uh, 117 ball speed, uh, 164, a uh, little low on the face, so 6,800 spin. You know, if you hit it low on the face, I don't care what ball you use, you're going to spin it. So let's do one more. I'm really going to try to hit this one um, as good as I can. You know, one thing to remember when you are in a fitting, you know, you're going to hit some bad shots. Like, I'm not hitting all these great. They're fine. It is what I typically hit, so you want to pay attention to those. So you kind of want to do a little bit of the fitting based on how you typically hit it. And then based on when I hit it really, really well, like what is that doing? Which that one that I hit really well was definitely less spin. It would also be good to kind of take an average of all of these shots and just to kind of evaluate that. Ooh, that was a really nice strike. I'll be curious what that was. That's definitely lower spin because I hit that higher in the face. All right, that's 120 ball speed, same as the other one. Uh, let's see, yeah, 6,500 spin, so a little spinny, 18 degree launch, uh, 170 in the air. All right, let's jump over to the Pro V1X and just see. I would anticipate that these are going to spin more, but we'll see. You know, that's why we're testing it. Uh, grooves are fine, not making much ground contact. I'm not going to be swinging any harder or softer. Same intent. All those are on the green. <clears throat> that was a little thin. That flew pretty far. Uh, that was 118 ball speed. At, there you go, 6,900 spin. So a little bit bottom of the face, spun a little bit more than all the other ones. It's kind of what I was saying, though, is that I would expect that these balls would spin a little bit more. If you're looking for that, it's a great option. If you're looking to take some spin off, then, you know, you may not want that. Let's go again. Seven. A little more ground contact. Ooh, that was, that was really struck well. Carried a little bit further. Ball speed 120. Man, 7,500 spin. That was a really good strike, too. That was actually a little toe. I'm surprised that spun that much. So you can definitely see that this ball is spinning a lot more. So if you're someone who feels like they overspin their irons or you hit a cut and you feel like it cuts too much or spins too much, you may want to look at the, the one. Th these are definitely spinning... A hair more, and I'm really not hitting them any different. That was, that was the the best strike I've probably had. Oh, that was even better. That was a little draw. I would think that's around the 120. Yeah, you go, 121 ball speed. A hair toe, 7,000 spin. I don't think I really need to hit another one. It's clear that the Pro V1X is spinning a little bit more. Launch numbers are the same. It's all around 17, 18. It's literally just spinning more. So. Again, I, I think that's starting to sway me a little bit towards the Pro V1. I mean, obviously, I like the spin around the greens and the flatness. Um, but, you know, spinning it, over spinning with your irons is something that you don't want. My 7,000 isn't too much. I mean, that's still totaling out to 70. If I wanted to hit these like five yards further, definitely the, the lowest hanging fruit is to knock down the spin. So let's head over to the driver, over to the tee box, and see if there's a drastic difference between those two balls. All right, so the last piece of the puzzle is the driver. I'm going to be hitting the GT. If you haven't seen my GT review, I highly encourage you to check that out. Also did the three wood. Um, and what I'm going to be looking for here is really simple. Uh, it's going to be if I hit the center of the face, what are the spin numbers? What are the launch numbers? Um, I generally am kind of low spin with my driver. So I haven't always been looking for, uh, you know, less spin like maybe on the irons. But we'll see. Um, if, if I saw a big jump up in ball speed or anything like that, that, that would be okay. But I doubt that's going to be the case. So let's just see kind of what we get. In, shot intent here is going to be the same, just kind of straight, straight shot. Ooh, I'm aimed right on the edge of that tree. I just hit it right over the tree. That's probably the best shot you're ever going to see me hit. So that's uh, 109, 163, 275 with 2600 spin totaled out to 301 
you know, I'm not swinging super fast. I don't want to hear in the comments how I'm slow and old, I know. But you guys saw that I did pick up plenty of speed when I wanted to. I'm just kind of cruising right now. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Ah, let's go again. Man, that is hammered. That's a little left. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Yeah, 110, 163, uh, 280, 309, 2100 spin. So there we go. There's that, there's that low spin number that I was kind of talking about, and I hit that pretty good. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about that shot. I mean, I do not want to spin my driver too much. So that's where the Pro V1 is is pretty attractive. Right, let's do one more, maybe two, to see kind of what we get here. See if I can hit a little bit more right. Eh, hair left, kind of like the same one, same the last one. All right, that's 110, 165, uh, 272, 2300 spin. Nothing crazy. I mean, I, I like those numbers. You know, those weren't the best tee shots, but I like how I miss hit one of those and it still was pretty low spin. All right, let's jump over to the Pro V1X. And I, I'm anticipating this is going to spin a little bit more. Uh, but if, it, if it's under the 2800 mark, I'm probably not going to make much of a change. Ooh, that was a good strike. That is right on the edge of the tree. That should be pretty good. 110, 164, gosh, 1900 spin. That was pretty, that was honestly too low. That was a little bit uh, high on the face, but I'm not seeing a huge difference so far. You know, it's just one shot, but that wasn't any different on the spin. That was actually a little low. All right, let's see if I can get one a little bit more right. Not toey. Oh, there you go. There's your low healer. That was awful. Let's see what I get there. A little bit of a low heel shot. 3,200 spin on that. That's really not that bad. That's kind of encouraging that I would still get a decent spin number on an absolutely terrible strike. I hit that awful. I just want you to know, like, if you saw me play and you saw that, you'd be like, that guy doesn't break 90. That was a terrible shot. All right, let's go again. That is not because of the ball. That is just me and my lack of skill. All right, let's see if I can hit a nice towering draw here. Oh, that's my best one. Guaranteed. That was a little higher. A little straighter. Yeah, 111, 166, 2300 spin, almost 290 in the air. You know what, let's hit one more for fun, just because it is fun. I'm gonna hit the Pro V1X again. And I can tell you, I don't think that I would be making a change. I just don't see enough of a difference for me. And I'm really not fighting spin enough. And I think I like the spin um, on the, around the greens enough that I, don't, I wouldn't wanna change. Ooh, I hit that really good. That was a little bit more right but very good strike. Yeah, 111, 166, 285, 2700 spin on kind of a high right. So there you go, there's the driver numbers. Again, yeah, the Pro V1 is probably a little bit less, but not overly done for me with the uh, Pro V1X. All right, so that was really fun. That's something I haven't really done before uh, with TrackMan, looking at all four aspects of my game. Um, so one, I would, I would tell you that if you haven't done something like that, I would highly encourage you to. You may not have access to a TrackMan, but I, I bet you can tell you know, how the difference in the golf balls is just by kind of hitting shots, going on the course, seeing where they end up. You'll definitely be able to tell on the distance wedges um, and the short game shots. And then you know, go out and play and, and you'll notice you know, if the ball is going a little further, if it's going a little bit straighter, how the ball is landing on the green. Is it, is it stopping and backing up or is it you know, is it rolling out a little bit? Um, in this case, for me, I think I would stick with the Pro V1X, but I tell you what, I am gonna order some of the, uh, the Pro V1s just to see because I was intrigued by the slightly lower spin, um, especially on some windy days, I might be interested in like trying that. So all that to say, be questioning your equipment. Your golf ball is one of the most important pieces of your equipment. So I appreciate you watching this. 
please drop a comment if you had any thoughts or if you thought it was something interesting in the video. And if you tried the golf balls, I'd love to hear what you think. And uh, best wishes in your, in your journeys of lowering those scores. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks for watching.